Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Honeybee Stamps and today we're going to be making a card using some products from the latest release. We're going to be using Sleigh Bells Ring stamp set and matching die set. We're also going to be using some of the card panels that came free with your order of $75 or more and this is a piece of that paper. We're also going to be using some white paper, a card base, and we're going to go ahead and get started here. Now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get our images all stamped out. I'm going to pull out my mini misty here. I'm going to open up this package because it's brand new. And then we're going to go ahead and take the sleigh off of this uh, plastic and place it onto the paper here. Now we're going to go ahead and get that placed onto the misty here. And we're going to be using some red ink. To go ahead and get that stamped down and I did stamp that down twice because it was a little splotchy. Uh, the results will still be a little splotchy a little bit until the ink gets soaked into the paper so you'll see a little, a little, a little bit of splotchiness as we go along. It'll eventually fill in. The next thing we're going to do is put the wood grain into the sled. So we're going to go ahead and get that placed onto the image there and we're going to be using some intense black ink from Honeybee Stamps to go ahead and get that wood imprint onto uh, the sled here. And quite honestly, I've never ridden a sled like this before, so I find it interesting uh, that they can actually go in the snow. I've always used a metal or plastic kind of sled when I was a kid, so. The next thing we're gonna do is put the top part of the sled on. And we're just going to be using some gray ink here to go ahead and get that stamped out. We'll go ahead and flip the lid over. We're going to rub that stamp because it's never been used to go ahead and condition it. And we're going to use some gray here to go ahead and get that placed onto the sled. Now what we're going to do is uh, stamp out a few of the fur branches here from the stamp set. And I'm just using a green ink here to go ahead and get that done and I actually cut this out three times but really or I'm um, stamp it out three times but I only use two of them I believe in this video. Now we're going to go ahead and cut out all the images so I'm going to go ahead and place the dies on the images. You do see a set of bells there I decided not to use that because I came up with a different idea that you'll soon see in this video. We're going to go ahead and place the dies onto the images and we'll go ahead and put it through the die cutting machine so that we can go ahead and get those uh, cut out. Now you guys might think I'm crazy, but I needed to cut out the white spaces in this sled here. And I'm just using an X-Acto knife to do this. It kind of drives me insane when images aren't, they like when they have the white space where there really should be space, it kind of drives me a little crazy because I'm crazy. So, um, <laughs> I decided to go ahead and cut out all these little spaces on the sled just so that I can keep my crazy in check. Now I'm just testing out how exactly I want things to hang here. And then this is where I came up with the genius idea with the bells. I took these little itty bitty bells and then I took this gold DMC uh, thread. I think it's called DMC thread. And what I'm going to do is tie bells onto this and so that it'll ring a little bit on the card when you shake it. So I'm just going to show you how I did one of them here. Um, I tried to tie this with my big old man hands. It took me a few times to do it but I eventually did get it through and I just moved forward. I put on a total of six bells. I kind of do three on one side, three on the other, and then it just hangs. So now that we have those done, we're going to go ahead and place those onto the sled with some uh, little glue dots here. I thought this would be the best way to get them to be onto the card. I did place them on the first two bells on the sled, and then the third ones that are hanging down, I just left those hanging so that it kind of, you know, dramatic detail. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the fur branches on, and I'm going to use some uh, glue dots here as well. I'm just going to place that on there. It's a little super sticky, so of course it's sticking to my finger and everything else uh, that's even possible to stick to. But we're going to go ahead and put the branch behind the back of the sled, and we're going to do the same thing for the second one. 
I'm going to peel this off and go ahead and place the second branch onto this lead here. This also keeps the string in place as well under the branch. Okay, now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and cut this piece of pattern paper. Again, this was a card panel that was free with your $75 order or more. Um, there were a bunch of card panels that you could just put a sentiment on and go with it. This is the back of that paper, which is super cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate double-sided paper. It's, it's the worst. I'm going to go ahead and get this glued down onto the card base here. And now we're going to put some foam tape on the back of the sled. I decided to use this foam tape because it's skinny and it'll fit on the sled a little bit better. We'll go ahead and get all that on the back of the sled and we'll remove the backing paper and we'll go ahead and place that onto the card panel here. I'm going to try to put it a little bit higher so that the bells hang down. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and place some gemstones on here. These are from the Vintage Holiday Release. And I'm just using some blue ones here and I'm placing them in the center of different snowflakes that you can see um, on the pattern paper. And then what I did was I pulled out some little snowflake flower kind of things from my stash to go ahead and put some white ones on here. And I'm also placing those in the middle of the snowflakes. So that pretty much completes the card. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you so much for supporting Honeybee Stamps. We truly appreciate it. Make sure that you head over to the website and check out all the newest release. You can also uh, click the links in this video to go straight to the products that I use today. Also be sure to check out Honeybee Stamps over on Instagram and all the other social media platforms, Facebook, all that good stuff. And you can also find me on Instagram and YouTube by searching for Bromero cards. So this completes the card today. I hope you guys have a great day and a great week, and I will talk with you later. Bye.